throughout the ages, the strongest argument against God, the strongest argument against our faith is the problem of evil. If there is a God, he is all good, all powerful, all loving. Why does he allow bad things to happen? But I want to spend most of our time on our first read in the book of Job. And he's wrestling with great difficulties. But Job had 10 children, seven sons, three daughters. He had a bunch of livestock, a bunch of animals. He was a very wealthy man. And one day, with this dialogue between God and with Satan, it's revealed to us that God is in control of everything that happens, including the bad things. He allows it to happen. It's a part we say of his passive will. But he allows it to happen for a greater good. Job has everything taken from him. He has a series of messengers that come and say, this part of your livestock, they're all gone. And while he's still talking, the next guy comes and said, all these livestock, they're gone. Your children, they're all dead. Job is having a bad day, to put it mildly. He goes into a moment of lamenting, frustration. He falls to the ground, we're told, he worships and he says, naked I came forth from my mother's womb and naked shall I go back there. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 